Hi friends, it's Monica here again and today I'm going to be doing a new to booktube tag and let's just jump right into it. And I will be looking down at my laptop here because I have all the questions here. So first question, where are you joining us from? So I am in kind of like the bookish world but I'm on bookstagram and I've been on bookstagram for around two years now. I love it there, the community is great. I thought this question was kind of asking where I'm actually from, so I am from Canada. Canadians represent. <laughs> How old are you? Um, I'm 23 years old. Why did you join booktube? So don't get me wrong here, I love bookstagram and the community there is great, but I, I kind of had just some difficulties in communicating with people through video and audio and I wanted a just like a change and a chance to connect with more people and I thought booktube would be the great way to do that. What is the meaning behind your channel name? So my channel name is Monica the Bibliophilus and this comes from my bookstagram username is bib.bibliophilus <laughs> so that's where I kind of incorporated my bookstagram name into my booktube name. What types of books do you read slash want to talk about on here? The main genre I read is young adult fantasy, but I do branch out a lot and read different other genres such as contemporary, sci-fi. Lately it's been thrillers. I've been really enjoying the thrillers. And I've also taken to reading some more adult fiction. Uh, again, it includes High fantasy like George R. R. Martin or Braden Sanderson. Number six, who are some of your favorite authors? On bookstagram, I say this a lot. I'm trash for Sarah J. Maas. That's kind of true. <laughs> I really love all her books. Her A Court of Thorns and Roses series and Throne of Glass series is one of my all-time favorites. I just like how it's really easy to get into her world and her strong female characters are a selling point for me. They're basically super addicting and I'm so excited for that adaptation that's in the works right now. I just hope Hulu does us fans right by the Akatar series and I heard that Sarah is co-writing the scripts with creator of Outlander and I love the Outlander series too so really excited for that. Another one of my favorite authors is Brandon Sanderson. He just writes such a huge variety of books and I feel that his fantasy books are really easy to engage in and really sucks you in. I pretty much loved all the books I've read by him. I've enjoyed Skyward series, Mistborn series. I'm still in the progress of reading the Mistborn series and the Stormlight Archive and also Leigh Bardugo is one of my favorite authors right now at the moment because of Grisha Burst and Shadow and Bone series coming out and I'm just super excited for that as well. Number seven, what's the last book you read? So the last book I read was Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I really enjoyed this one because it's the second book in the Last Hours trilogy and I believe this trilogy is the fifth series in the Shadow Hunter world. I just find that with each book Cassandra is writing, her writing improves so much. And I love how in Chain of Iron we're following children of past characters and it's really fun. It might even beat out to be one of my favorite trilogies in the Shadow Hunters world, beating out the Dark Artifices, which is Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. Number eight, what are you currently reading? So I did pull that out. I'm currently reading Shadow and Bone. Um, it's a read read for me at this point, but I'm really enjoying it. It's really nice to get back into the world of Ravka and relearning everything because it's been a while since I first read this book. Overall, I'm really enjoying it and I hope to get everything reread, including the Six of Crows duology by the end of the month preferably before the release of the show on April 23rd. Okay, number nine, what do you use for bookmarks? Um, I always use just like a regular paper bookmark. For example, in Shadow of Book, I'm using this bookmark. This is actually from a local Canadian Etsy shop, um, Spark and Bright. And I do have a wrap code from Instagram, but 
if you're interested i'll leave that in the description box below um uh, number 10 show us your current tbr pile i don't want to really pull everything out from the shelf right now i already mentioned this in an earlier question uh, my tbr for this month for april is just to reread all the shadow and bone books and the Six of Crows dual. I hope to also squeeze in King of Scars and Rule of Wolf. Number 11, which do you prefer, hardcover or paperback? I do prefer hardcover books because they look pretty on the shelf, as you can see behind me. I know my shelves are a mess right now, just ignore that. And I just feel like they're more sturdy. Um, ebooks or physical books? Lately, I've been enjoying more physical books rather than ebooks. Ebooks do have the convenience of you could bring them anywhere, but I do enjoy the physical books more now owning or borrowing books um i do prefer to own them but my local library system has a great selection of books they always have the new releases coming out so i do like to get some library books just to see if i even want to purchase the actual series with my own money number 12 what book or series got you into reading i've always been a reader since childhood and one series that that comes to mind that kind of boosted my love of reading and just kind of going out there and actually looking for more books is the twilight saga yes i'm part of that generation where i read the books throughout high school and kind of middle school really i just have to say that it helped me develop my love of reading even more and i just remember loving the community that came along with that number 13 how did you discover booktube um i think i was just scrolling through youtube and i just came across some of the og youtubers such as Tastic, uh poland bananas books emma books a book utopia i i can't i can't think of anyone else but i think peru's project as well and I was just like really surprised that there were so many people that actually love books as much as I do that they were posting videos about it and like now I'm here joining booktube which is really out of character for me but I'm ready for this journey number 14 what challenges do you think you'll face with your own channel to be honest um I kind of experienced this already with bookstagram it's kind of like comparing myself with um who has the most followers how many likes does my post have but i'm just gonna just jump into booktube without any expectation and just kind of try to make quality content that i wanted to see or maybe add something unique to booktube but i don't know if that will work out but let's see what happens number 15 where else can we find you and says link up social media i did mention in the beginning i do have a instagram at bibliophilist i'm also on twitter it's again the same kind of name but now it's bib underscore iliophilist and on book twitter i'm kind of learning the rope i don't even know what to tweet about but i'm figuring that out and but mainly i am on instagram and just starting booktube so you could find me on there and i guess that's the end of the tag thank you so much for watching and make sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below uh, what you're currently reading and I'll see you guys soon.